Well, Ibn Taymiyyah is, uh, he dies in Damascus, in jail in 1328. And uh, he has been misused during the 20th century uh, by some of the most extremist uh, Islamists. Uh, he is quoted, for example, in the 9-11 Commission official report as being the ancestor, the spiritual ancestor of Osama bin Laden. So to work about him is also to go a little bit into a minefield. But then when uh, you read him, you realize that uh, those who have misused him for uh, terrorist purposes only read texts uh, that he wrote to call for the resistance of Syria against the invasion of the Mongols at the end of the 13th century. But they start using those texts that were texts of national resistance against an invader. They use those texts to call for uh, the uh, killing of uh, unjust Muslim rulers. And so if you go to other texts written by Ibn Taymiyyah, you realize that he was the most loyal subject of the Mamluk sultans wow. under whose authority he was living and who were not better than the Mongols. And you realize that uh, he is caricatured, he is reduced, to just a few pages that he wrote against an enemy. And when you look at other texts, which is quite easy because you can access them on internet or in, on CD-ROMs or most of his writings have been uh, published, you realize that you have there somebody who is at the same time probably the greatest in later uh, Muslim theologian and uh, somebody who has a very very moderate approach to the religion. He is a mufti, which means some, uh, a religious scholar who has to give opinions about everything, every aspect.